Welcome back everyone to Beyond the Boundary Road. I'm Kitty Cara and Danny Doyle, our cultural facilitator, is here with me today. Today, Norman Park is our destination as we move away from Cooparoo and we cross Norman Creek. So Danny, tell us a little bit about Norman Park. Uh, Norman Park, Norman Creek, Norman Park, pretty well one of the same places. It's in between uh, two pathways. One pathway leading out towards Wynnum and the other one leading out towards Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, two, two of those areas. The, um, as I mentioned before, the, the groups from as far as bribery and then as far down as Logan and even the islands from Stratty that would that come across and camp there and, and people would mingle and hunt and fish. And there was plenty of fish around. There's, um, and the fruit, what did I say, the fruit bats, I think, before mm -hmm. I mentioned as well? Yeah. Yep. And you had the lilies as well, the reeds. Um, there was crabs, you know, you'd go down to the mouth and you'd catch mud crabs. And plenty of mud crabs all the way along there. Yeah. Yep. As well as prawns. If yeah. you went right out of your mouth, the river, but they'd probably even come in, I would assume. Yeah. So people would catch a lot of prawns as well. So plenty of seafood, plenty of food to go around for everybody. Now these days, of course, we've got bridges mm. across, so many bridges across these creeks. Yeah. And some of the creeks aren't even there anymore. Little bits and pieces yeah. that I, uh, I still visit every once in a while. Yeah. When I'm in the area, I see, um, see places where I follow Norman Creek along and end up near Stones Corner, mm. uh, East Brisbane, mm. along those ways. And uh, I see that there's still figs around, you know, a couple mm. of fig trees. There's still a lot of spear trees still around, thankfully. And, um, and yes, of course, the Lamandra is still plentiful. Now, I was reading about, um, about some of the ferns that people ate, that there's a fern that was a really common food. Mm, yes, yes, there was plenty of ferns. There was um, uh, people called bungal, bungal fern or something like this. Yeah. Or bungal. Uh, but most, most ferns that were along the creek and within the areas of the swamps in particular, we would dig down, dig mm. down and, and take that, um, take the root out. And it was, um, it's tubers, I think they call them these yeah, days. Yeah. yeah, very tuberous, mm -hmm. yes. And you give that a good little pounding up, a little bit of a touch up. And sometimes, you know, these days you can get Dr. Hammer onto it. Yeah. And, uh, and that's good, give it a bit of a cleaning and chuck it in the ashes. Oh, sorry, not in the ashes, but in the, give it a bit of a roll in the hot ashes and yeah, fire. Yeah. And it's good to eat. So is that what they used to make, the little Johnny Cakes? I've heard of Johnny Cakes made out of that mm. as, a damp, as a replacement for damper. Yeah, well, our dampers are basically little Johnny Cakes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'd mix certain um, roots and uh, even yam, you know, the bush yam would mm. dig down. And, um, and we'd be digging for like ever. Sometimes I'd find myself chest high in the ground really? and following along this, uh, this yam, this really nice yeah, that I want to make sure it stays intact and I don't want to break it off until I get to the end of it. Oh. Yeah. So I'm cleaning around it. It's a bit like that um, that movies they have out these days or TV shows when they uh, archaeologists and all that are digging up the dead and things so like that. So that's digging for yams. You have to get <laughs> chest tied into the soil to sometimes, dig for yams. Yeah, sometimes they're that deep. You have to go down that deep. Yeah. yeah. And is that just, would that just be a whole bunch of yam together or are you just following one plant that's got all that's, of these I'm tubes? just following one. Yeah. Um, one very old one at okay. times, yeah. And, and then you have different types of yams that are more closer to the surface. Okay. And they, they bulb, they bulb out um, instead of being long. Yes, yeah. Uh, so so the, the long ones are more like, um, uh, what do they call those things? Sweet potato? Yes, yeah. Yeah. But you know, three times as long. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah, and they're nice. I like them. So if I got sweet potato and mix that up with uh, natural yams, yeah. And there's uh, a handful of different ha uh, yams. I'd make myself a really nice um, potato type of stew if I like to. Yeah. Or soup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you just actually what I would do is I, I'd wrap it in some bark and then chuck it on the fire. Mm. And that would um, heat up and cook. And then when you peel back the bark, you just dig straight into it that way. 
because once you start disturbing the ground, you end up even something like this um, gooseberries. Mm -hmm. They will pop up. Like a native gooseberry? Uh, yeah, yeah. And people, um, native gooseberry, we've got our own native gooseberry. A lot of people call it, I think it's a weed. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're still around in Brisbane today. Okay. And they will, um, well, how would I explain that? People might look at it like a little mini tomato in a, in a brown paper bag. Oh, that was, that's, that's what, what it what they looks like. like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and they're, they're very nice. Uh, I just pick out on those things all the time. Right. Yeah. All right, Danny, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. That's a wrap for today's show. Next week, Hawthorne is the place where our tra trail's going to lead us to, so make sure you watch it, same time, and um, remember to explore the land that you live on. Thanks.